Hey guys, Professor Prime here with MyJoPlanet.com and welcome to another episode of Prime Talk. In today's episode, I thought it'd be fitting to start talking about the X-Transpot Constructicon's Devastator that I did a video on Scrapper like a year ago and it was a pretty popular video. You guys seem to enjoy, uh, enjoy that video. So now the rest of them have pretty much showed up on Show Z Store. Those of you who maybe watched my short that I did not too long ago on Big, Big Lot, Big load sorry i did get them and i did a what's in the box video like on my unboxing series that i do when i get stuff in the mail i do like a, i just open it up and let and sh kind of show you guys the experience of me opening it with you guys and well i was transforming it and i broke the wheel i'm not surprised because i do have another x transpot figure that i got in vegas like a couple years ago and i ended up breaking that figure too more so just a plastic piece broke off and it's not a big deal like it doesn't hinder transformation or anything but it's the fact that it happened and besides the Devil Savior set, <laughs> though I haven't broken anything, any of my uh, third-party figures have been broken. Just, just a couple things. But so in today's episode, we're gonna be taking a look at X Transbot MX43 Teardown Hook. This is their take on the Constructicon hook. And I gotta say, the product shot is weird. Like, what is going on with those white? I don't know. Uh, it doesn't have a price right now. You can pre-order for a dollar. It is uh, it is an MP, it is MP scale. So if you're an MP scale collector and you want to collect this, this is definitely one to get. Uh, so it's made out of ABS uh, height. We don't know how tall it is yet, and it's expected to come out second quarter of 2024. Take out the grain of salt because actually Scrapper was the first one announced. Big load came out first. Big load would be long haul for those of you wondering who I'm talking about, it'd be long haul. I'm not gonna do a prime talk video on long haul because I've already got the figure. So we'll just do that in my weekly episode of of those toy reviews. So so here, these are all 3D render shots, okay guys? These are 3D render shots, not actual production shots. So here he goes. And for those of you who don't know, this is classic G1 hook. So this is basically the chest and the headpiece. Now I don't know if this Devastator is gonna be parts forming. It doesn't look like it's going to be, the considering how long haul transforms into his combiner mode it does not look like that but who knows here's robot mode robot mode looks great it looks good i don't know about this white i don't i don't i don't understand the white maybe that's supposed to be like a uh metallic color but it's it's really weird and, it, and again it's 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 a proto it's a prototype shot it's not actual and then here's combined mode now here's the reason why i'm saying that i'm thinking this is a parts farming because there's no like the wing you know his shield that he has it's not here now again this is a product shot so it could just be you know the product shot they haven't they haven't done yet and also it doesn't say it comes with anything so i'm gonna guess for accessories he's gonna come with the gun one thing i found interesting is that it didn't none of them came with the with the with the trumpets uh so what big load came with he came with two missiles which were a first edition and i got the light version okay so i got the black head sculpt which i prefer over the white head sculpt but that's just a, and this one has chrome on it where the other one didn't have chrome that's just a that was just a personal preference on my part i could have got the other one actually i think the other one was out of stock at the time when i ordered it but i could have gone with that one and just waited for it to restock but i went with the light version so and, and i don't think it's gonna matter in terms of like the look of the care of the combined mode it's not gonna matter to me too much it's devastator but yeah we don't have a lot to go on this i'm assuming he's gonna come with a gun and there might be some kind of like pre-order bonus that comes with it too i'm not sure yet i order all my figures on show z store because i I have been ordering from them since 2020 no 2019 actually i've been I, I think my first figure i bought from them was in 2019 and i've had nothing but success with them especially when it comes to after sale services like i've had figures break and i've contacted them and said hey yeah this this piece broke and they have been they've been they've done the due diligence and sent me the replacement parts when they were able to do it not one time i've like been told no we can't send a replacement part magic square minnesota had a broken uh head antenna got a replacement part for that my hook no sorry not hook one of my devil two of my devil savior figures that i actually got from them broke and i got replacement parts for those so my split broke got replacement part haven't put it on yet because you know it's that figure pisses me off now uh scavenger broke like one of the pieces that for combined mode broke and they sent me a replacement part for that so no sorry over uh, overload overload broke it was overload actually my scavenger did break but i just didn't bother to send uh, and uh, i just didn't bother because i can just fix it myself i was like I, i'm not gonna worry about it i'm not gonna not gonna bother them about it i mean 
I probably could. I mean, it's been kind of, I think it's been too long now. They've been really good to me. And, and the shipping has been really good. Uh, it's free shipping, you know, 20, 25 day shipping time. And I've, the packaging's come, the, if you guys watch what's in the box, you can see how good the packaging is. It's fantastic. I love it. But yeah, guys, there's not a whole lot to talk about Hook. I might do a follow-up video on him like down the road next month when, if any more new information pops on. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Prime Talk. This has been your host, Professor Prime. Be sure to like the video, leave a comment down below if you're getting the X-Trans bots or you're going the Fans Toys version. I might do, I might do videos like on the Fan Toys versions. I don't know yet. Let me know if you guys want me to do that. I might do that. Let me know. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And if you enjoyed watching this video, check out this video right here up in the corner. And as always, guys, until next time.